Hello, people. Here we are at Hidden Springs. Hooray! So, I ended up making this lot, whatever it originally was, the luxury lodge into the base camp. She's, I put her here, and then she moved into an empty lot, I think. Yeah, an empty lot over here. Because what's the point in me picking out a house for her when... I'm just going to be moving on to Appaloosa Plains once I'm done with makeovers. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's pretty much the way it looks like things are going to go until we get done adding all of the towns. I've done some of the makeovers, but I haven't done all of them. It's funny, it's like, it's taking me almost the same amount of time as it originally was doing to do makeovers, and I'm not hardly touching their clothes at all anymore so it just seems kind of weird but i'm i'm starting to get the hang of it and like getting into a habit of witch sliders and stuff that i always use and i went through and on cc magic disabled a bunch of the sliders that i didn't recognize the names of that i don't think i normally use very often so hopefully that'll take down some of the time that i'm spending like trying to find the right sliders um nobody mentioned to me about whether or not they like the speed that i did the last video at so i'm gonna keep it at that same speed i'm gonna do it exactly as i did the last one with the alphas and the omegas and then another video with the betas which is everybody else there was um a lot more omegas in this town than the other towns but i Hope that you enjoy watching this, and we're just trucking along here, you know, adding all these packs. It's almost not like I'm playing anymore. Oh yeah, and she only had one person. It was this guy here. How convenient that he was right here. Uh, Ian Nolly. Um, and the game made him the leader of the town gigolo yeah so uh yeah he's he's the town gigolo and yeah i'm i'm you know it's funny because at first when she was in sunset valley i was like oh yeah this th whole thing can be like her searching for her soulmate you know and then i was like oh but i want her to have a kid that'll do the ultimate sims so i can't do it that way well it turns out that seems to be what we're doing we're like having her search for her soulmate <laughs> <laughs> and I guess in the end, if it doesn't work out and she can't find somebody, well, uh, she can always go back to that guy in Riverview. I, I don't know. I was never, like, too excited about him. I actually thought that we would find somebody, you know, sooner. But all right. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching all of the makeovers. And like I said last time, if the speed's too fast, let me know. And yeah. Here we go.